Oh. Well, at least in theory, I have the OBS Ninja on. I've also opened it on Firefox. It began with three pillars, the foundation for UW Esports, pushing ourselves to greater heights. Community. Career. Competition. Yeah. Oh, okay. Reminds me of okay. uh, Toronto Defiant. Toronto Defiant Yakpong. Reminiscent of that, of just juggling everyone into the corner there. Maybe that'll be the game changer here for you, Doug. Maybe. Oh my goodness. What, what an angle, angle by Wizard. Wow. What a shot. Hello and welcome. Oh. Okay, so well, uh, tonight we're going into UW Esports Game of the Week, and so right now we're going to be featuring some more of our UW Esports teams. So tonight we're going to be featuring our UW Overwatch team in a matchup from last week, where UW was taking on Waldorf, which is the University of uh, Iowa, in a first to three matchup. Our esports programs seek to build and foster community, open doors to the vast career opportunities in the field of gaming, and promote the virtues of a healthy competition. Through esports, we're able to communicate with each other, forming and developing Digital communities are super necessary in this modern world. Uh, we hope that you want to become more of a part of our community and we invite you to get more involved. Uh, follow us here or on our UW Esports Discord servers as well as our other social channels, which are all at U of Wah Esports. I'm now to introduce myself. I'm Anvid. I'm currently a junior at University of Washington and I'll be one of your casters tonight. Well, I hope that you can hear me now because I may or may not have screwed up just a little bit You're there. Good. You're good. I attempt I just attempted to intro and I forgot that I had pushed to talk on. And so when I started to wave my hand and do stuff, all of a sudden no one could hear me. But fear not, I am here and I am Handbear 15. I'm Nelson, sophomore at the University of Washington. And well, you know, you just sometimes have those technical difficulties every once in a while. But you know. Just shake this off, move on, happens to everyone. I, I feel like I had one of those last week, though, so maybe, maybe <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe my memory is just uh, haunting me now. Well, this is why you tune in. Yeah, exactly. You tune in for all, all of these blo blooper plays. Like, I think, well, uh, I think, like, I think we have a little leverage here as casters. Can't we, like, ask production just get, get us a blooper reel of these things? You think we can do that? A whole compilation? It might be a whole VOD, though. It might be, like, just two hours of messing up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be just two hours long. Anyway, so today we're going to see the the uh, University of Washington take on Waldorf. Waldorf University, I believe. Yeah, and so... Everyone is from Iowa, uh, from Iowa State, I believe. And I think it's going to be a pretty interesting matchup. Yeah, and for for you, Dub, this is like, uh, I think we're going into our fourth week of school, and so the team has been practicing for a while, and so now we're going to be probably seeing more strategies that we can kind of predict how the rest of the season will go. Because at first, they were just getting started, they were getting like the feel of things with all these new players, but now that the roster is kind of like set and everybody feels comfortable, we can start seeing where that where their heads are at. Yeah, and I'm excited to see what are some kind of ad adaptations. Maybe if we see, I vividly recall last week the the King's Road, uh, the kind of a blitz attack that we had uh, a last time, and uh, 
and how they managed to uh, how they managed to try to, try to uh, deal with the Doomfist, and when that didn't work out, I'm I'm hoping to see if maybe they have some pocket strategies made for that. If that that they see that in, maybe they won't see that at all. I, as I can't say I know that much about opponents, but I'm sure it's going to be a great match anyway. And looking at our map pool, I think that we have a good set of maps lined up for us. We're yeah, going we're gonna to start off with, so go, sorry, go ahead. Oh, we're starting off, uh, we're going to start getting into the game right now, but we're going to Lijiang Tower for a best of three capture point map. And it looks like we're having uh, a new player who ha we haven't seen just yet in Game of the Weeks, and that's going to be Weed on D.Va as a tank. So a little bit of pressure on them, you know, kind of a little debut, but I'm sure they'll do good with the rest of the team. Personally, I'm a really big fan of the Reinhardt Diva as a Reinhardt, sorry, Reinhardt Zarya as opposed to the Reinhardt Diva when you're running this Doomfist, as UW is, it seems to be rolling here, but I I have full confidence that UW knows what they're doing. Now, on the other hand, we're going to have this Far Mercy on the side of Waldorf, and this is going to be looking to do a lot of poke, but, you know, TP is going to allow you to just get in immediately, and now Baldur's going to have to find their way in. Yeah, was was there just no competition there? <laughs> Waldorf just let them walk in, and that's fine for me. Looks like Papa I John mean, Hamster is going to be trying to mess around, whole, but the whole <laughs> team is there. That was a little scary for just a moment, with, uh, with uh, Max almost getting booped off. It seems like we're fine now. Papa John's yeah. going to drop pretty low there. He's going to be able to get out, though. Cap goes to you dub Looks like Space Ghost is going to be trying to push around here, but like I said again, all of UW is there. They're all concentrated. So even with Hammond, a lot of these UW players have uh, mobility skills, so they should be fine. It's a little bit of contestion. They're kind of pushing UW off into the corner a little bit, and that Tracer is being really annoying from Waldorf. Space Ghost going around, just bopping, hitting everybody a little bit, and even finishing off and taking out Mags. There goes UW's main tank. And the rest of Waldorf is kind of going to be concentrated now more on point, so. One by one, the UW players uh, fall. So they didn't really lose the team fight, but they lost a bunch of individual fights. So now Waldorf has basically full control. They're just kind of pushing off a few left, less people. Like Doomfist isn't gonna be able to hold that. And the entire the entire kill feed is all UW players falling down. Interesting to see because it looked like Blob got taken out early, but the Doofa is flying a little too close to the sun. But right before it, it seemed that Blob was able to get a boop out to knock out one of the UW players. It was really important just securing that trade even while you're going down. And that allows uh, Waldorf to get this point. But now we're looking at the reaggression from University of Washington, and they have uh, quite a few ultimates to try to get this retake. Yeah, UW is pushing all the way through Courtyard. They're all going to go on point. Justice immediately comes out. It gets one kill and takes out the more mortality shield, which puts out a bunch of damage. So now Blob is just cleaning up, and she's nanoed, so he's doing extra damage and just takes out Mags and SME. Yeah, all of UW basically just fell. I mean, the only kill they really got was Tone, and that was only a bop, so it was just kind of luck. And, I mean, the last Diva can try to stall for a little bit. Trib's still staying alive, but there's just so many, it's going to be hard to run away. Well, Valley just took out a bunch of... Took a bunch of damage. Note this note, but no, nah, this is this isn't gonna have to transfer into a fake, and that's what's just gonna be a more ult charge to build your next nano. And that was one basically just with the Braj, and Braj is actually a really good indicator just how well as a team works together. They're able to keep Blob up through everything that you'd have tried to keep defensively as an ammo field with the defense matrix. And now you know they're looking for Quite a long rotation here. This is an interesting look here. You can see SME tried to switch. Uh, they're switched to McCree to try to take out that Pharah, but Pharah's being pocketed by that Mercy, so it might be a little bit tougher. UW is just going to try to ignore them. Doesn't even get the kill, and instead just goes straight to point. Daylift throwing down an ultimate right there. Give everybody a bunch of health. But he gets left as <laughs> just waiting for all that health to, to fade down. Mag's got a kill off Tony. That's going to take out some healers. But Blob finally got killed and rezzed again. And Space Ghost covering for Blob, taking out a bunch of players. Valid helping out too, getting a boop off daily. And looks like UW's just gonna be kind of stuck here. Yeah, the rest being taken out. Trib and, and Weed both getting taken out by Valid. Understanding of wing conditions by Waldorf, knowing that in order to defeat this really, really static composition from University of, of Washington, which is Reinhard Diva, that's really brawl, you're gonna, you're gonna look to poke 
all sides. The is just putting in so much work, so much splash damage, with a lot of strain on the healing resource. They have the ball rolling through, dropping down the minefield. You're gonna you're gonna get get a lot of chaos just from all angles and that's going to take down the Brokov, who's really only able to defend one angle at a time. But now we're going to see Symmetra and May on the side of Waldorf, Junkrat on UW. And that's going to be the really big indicator here. A longer a longer fight, I think, is going to fav favor the, the May just a little more if they can survive the upfront damage of the Junkrat. Yeah, it's interesting. We got two Symmetras and neither of them switched, so they're actually here. And we just saw that the Mercy the mercy is gone for this map. I mean, it makes sense because the Mercy was really only pocketing Blob that entire time in Sphera. And now that there's less room to fly, they're going to be switching to more ground-type characters. And Blob being taken out really easily, along with the rest of the team. UW, especially Weed, is getting a bunch of kills right here. You can Both do the... after Reinhardt goes down. So, as it doesn't have a V, no, no more protection in order for the Sin to just stay close and just charge up that beam. And actually, I didn't realize, but we is on the Sigma here. And that's going to provide a lot more poke damage. But as I say poke damage, Bob gets the headshot onto Dallas. Trip stalling the little rip tire, trying to find somewhere. He sees the little wall, so he's going to try to jump over it. Doesn't find anybody running around. It's going to be too late. He detonates, but there's nobody around getting no damage and wasting a lot of time. He could have been lobbing a bunch of bombs that entire time. And instead, they lost it. So it looks like... Lucio's back from the from the pick. It buys the time necessary. So they're back to a 6v6. Tony right here doing a bunch of healing, helping that May stay alive, helping their Ryan stay alive. Waldorf has spent so much time here on... Uh, on point that UW is going to be slowly draining all of their health. I mean, Mad Cow Disease is still healing them up, keeping everybody alive, but just barely. Everybody's low. Both teams are low. You're about to see a bunch of people start falling right now, unless the Rhine falls falls back. Looks like they don't want to die right here. Okay, inst instead of dying, all of Waldorf realized they're so low they had it fall back. All except for Papa Joe and Roses. Looks like they both fell. But UW hey, taking the point again. You see, that was a lot smarter of a rip tire than it, than it actually looked because it allows the speed boost to come back for you, Dub. Make sure it's a 66. They can drop the sim wall and make sure that your team has that to play around when uh, Walder has swapped off the Symmetra and thus doesn't have that ability to put down a counter wall or to nullify that advantage. Well, it looks like Waldorf's coming in here and Lucio's got a little ultimate, so you're going to see it popping out pretty soon. UW pops their own, survives the dragon, and he's going to be throwing another tire. This what? time he gets destroyed. Oh no, the poor tires. Lob here, the sensing some people in the back room with that arrow. He sees the world all out, so they're able to throw some damage across behind the corner. Mad Cow Disease taking out Papa Joe, so it looks like Waldorf just lost their main tank. That's going to allow UW to push in further and hurt all the squishies. Space Ghost switching, switching to uh, no, Soldier's kill, God, but it doesn't matter. It's over! They weren't able to touch the window and the, the sim and all the pressure from the frontline tanks of UW. Just make sure that no one's able to safely touch the point. And I mean, yeah, you're supposed to just sack your life for that, right? But everyone just feels the pressure and just back right off. Overtime ends. And that is a really convincing 100 to 0, where you kind of see that. When University of Washington is able to play their brawl comp in a more enclosed area, like in that context, a poke comp like fire won't work as well. UW's able to establish their win conditions with the Symmetra, able to just get all of their pressure down. And now we're going to get on to Gar Legion Gardens and oh boy, boot map. Yeah, I I'm surprised they didn't go fair this time. There's a lot of sky to cover right here. But instead, they're just going to be contesting out in the open in the courtyard along the steps. Right in front of this bridge, nobody's getting any uh, any real damage. They're just kind of touching each other, you know, tapping, seeing how they're doing, seeing if anybody's going to get out of out of placement, you know, maybe mess up a little bit. Space Ghost trying to go from behind, trying to see if any UW people are slacking, but Trib is going to keep them at bay, at least just for now. Taking a bunch of damage before they teleport and heal up. They had a recall, but they're still low even after the recall. Mad Cow Disease getting really low on the UW side. 
Tony throwing mm -hmm. a quick ultimate. That was super early in the game, that too. That was wow. really fast. Well, I mean, that's what happens when you have the six-man versus six-man. Laura is going to build her ultimate so quickly, and that's actually, this is actually a really interesting choice for you. I point out both, both teams are going for this ooga booga run at each other kind <laughs> of, kind of uh, composition with the dive tanks, but with the heavy sustained Laura Lucio. I think which ball is going to establish pack control, but uh, we have the tracer for Waldorf and Reaper for the for either of them. Right now, it seems like that the flake pressure is right now better than this than the Reaper. As a oh, that's a pretty big full spot me. Ooh, shoot, Bob right around the corner hops into the room and just ults on everybody. Well, not everybody, but enough people for a pair Papa Joe to ult himself. Kind of bop everybody around these close quarters, getting a ton of damage. That bomb's gonna try to make space. Weed getting back in into her suit, still full health. And meanwhile, both uh, both Waldorf's tanks both died. So SME is kind of reigning reigning free as a Reaper. Oh, gets hacked. That's gonna be pretty tough because he can't escape if he has to, but he doesn't because all of his friends are there. His seems there. It's fine. That's really good play from Dallas. Not getting hit by sound. It's not by sound bear. Of course, he's just he's first to cast the sound bear. Doesn't get hit by the EMP, and that allows him to get the sound bear off to make sure everyone stays alive through the EMP. And now Trip, he's looking to get an EMP of his own. I imagine he's gonna go up right when they cross this bridge here. Yeah, Waldorf on the space ghost making making a real thorn in the back of YouTube trying to hold that at the bridge. And so they eventually give up. They're going to fall back on the point, make sure, see what's up with that tracer. Oh! Blob getting destroyed before the fight even begins. So now Winston jumps on, on site. Trip is super low, but is able to hack, hack the tracer. SME jumping in and gets completely destroyed and canceled out by the Divas ultimate. But it still put up enough damage and the rest of the team is still fighting. So Waldo, oh, oh my gosh, Valid turning the tides. They just got two kills on their own. That means two are dead on either sides. That's enough for Waldorf. They're all jumping onto site. They get another kill with Dealith. It's going to get rid of a bunch of the heals. Tony ultimate again, two times this round already, getting a kill, getting rid of Mad Cow Disease, and basically just clearing up. I mean, there's a few le left people on point, but Weed falling makes UW fell, and they lost the point. This is a... Well, the contest is still going on here. Speed teleports the point, has a race for him immediately. He's going to be able to buy it. Five extra percent for his team. And actually, now Dallas is back. He's dancing around the point, doing his best contest, trading is really effectively. But Dallas has hacked. There goes his survivability, and the point flips over. And now this is just a stagger on. Unless he pops the primal, I guess. He's gonna use it to get out, I suppose. Interesting decision. Yeah, you'd have stalled. Stalled a long time, but they kept the point while they were stalling, so I guess it was worth it. They got a, pun a bunch of percentage points, even though they knew they couldn't turn it over. Blob has this EMP, though. And oh, Sober fight? Sober fight? 1v1? Oh. That's, oh, no. that's huge, actually. If you don't push this right now, the EMP might not be there time, and Trip is close to EMP. 98%. Pops it. Can't get the primal out. Takes out Papa Joe. Huge play. And Bob's gonna hear, but he's gonna seeing that all of his teammates are hacked. He comes back to try to throw some damage, gets rid of mags, but that's it really. The rest of the UW team is still fighting. Trib taking out Space Ghost, that there goes a bunch of damage. Take out Rose Waldorf, losing two players already. Trib is still looking around for another hack. Primo finally is able to come out after the hack is done. Tony committing another ult of their, their own. But there's too many UW people, especially with the Reaper throwing a bunch of damage. He gets hacked though, halfway, doesn't get the full damage. Valid getting knocked out of suit anyway, commits ult, gets one, trades oh it for mags. A bunch of kills happening right now. <laughs> that was even just a, a bomb to remag, and that still gets one kill. And yeah, now Space the Ghost EMP is out. back. Alive on half health, gets healed all the way from a teammate. It looks like Waldorf somehow was able to win that entire thing. Even after being hacked like super early on, they able to still hold on and capture the point. That's Winning the second map. That's incredible endurance to just be able to stay alive even when you you drop your main tank down to the to the EMP. Papa Joe's not able to pop his primal and it goes down, but the rest of the team is able they have the stall ultimates there just to keep everything going. You have the coal out which they aren't able to to interrupt and the war of attrition, they are able to keep a lot enough with their ultimates which they had online and just keep the six man up and six man if if you aren't able to take take out a target fast, then 
that you aren't really accomplishing the win condition of the six man. Six man, you just go all in on one target, try to take them out, but no one was really dying, and that means that eventually Papa Joe's able to get back, pop his primal, and then all the other ultimates come in. You get the diva bomb, which, by the way, I'm a diva player myself. Big <laughs> honest there. I got I I got a three piece earlier today. I was really happy about that one. Not here about to talk about me. I'm here to talk, nice. to talk about. <laughs> I mean, it's a good diva bomb. Diva Val yeah, Valid gets some really big diva bombs. Really good recognition on 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 the positioning earlier there. Get a a big two K that allows the fight to swing back over. Get the capture, and then well, sometimes your re your your bomb just get your mech back. Sometimes you just pick someone up, and you're like, oh hey, I'll take it. <laughs> Yeah, Waldorf is gonna be hard because they're really good at stalling right there. Even though they uh, they almost all got hacked and they weren't able to use their abilities, they were still able to stay alive. I guess they're just really good at the fundamentals, like just fighting even without abilities. So it's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard for UW to get another victory. Yeah, as our second map is gonna be King's Row, and I think we said this last week, there's really only one correct composition to play on King's Row, and that composition is Brawl, Ryan. You run the ride, Ryan's perfect on this. And you have your choice of like Zari or Diva, and then you can go like Kree or Reaper or May, and then you can pick up probably the Bat Lucio. But really, you're more, more or less know what your opponent's going to run anyway, even if you never played the other team before. And so, yeah, right now we're just looking at the Brawl Mirror on both sides. I think we're actually looking at a mirror currently, although. It's a uh, UDUP certainly still has opportunity to change a few things up here. Yeah, it's it's pretty typical to see a mirror comp on at King's Row, at least at the very beginning. You know, yeah. after after it switches sides, maybe they'll switch something up. But yeah, now we're, we're gonna be seeing a mirror. Yeah, it looks that way with the Cree and May. You're gonna have to in hard engages on each other. May walls look to them to try to just get some get a isolation, force out the immortality field. Does a huge test on who's able to get the better better engage right now. Wall comes out, actually gets the isolation a little bit. Yeah, they kind of trapped a couple UW players in, in that little in that little corner box of the two walls. So UW is already kind of really low. I mean, they got a few kills, but it doesn't matter. Well, now with the Trib and Dallas going down, yeah. This is pretty much over weeds also, D-Mech for now, and just gonna build up the mech. If it was just a trade, then you might have the advantage just by the virtue of closer respawns, but that's nullified now. It was we just now getting back into mech. Everyone's at full capacity. Another wall goes up, but doesn't really trap anybody. So now UW is getting uh, kills of their own, and it's not being traded. Instead, UW is just gonna be rolling onto point. They haven't lost a single person, and they still got three kills now. They're gonna be capturing point, and they've got full control of it. I mean, Valid is up here, but they're going to be kind of alone. And now they're seen. Now they got to run away. Waldorf is totally ready to, to recontest this, though, because they're going to have three ultimates if they want to go for it. And I think that they might want to invest this window there. And, uh-oh, it looks like Trim kind of got caught, caught here. I mean, Weed is still holding on. They got rid of Papa Joe, and they still have presence on point. So there's a D.Va still contesting, now out of mech. SME helping finish it off. Yeah, UW got basically a team wipe right there. It was a really messy fight towards the end. With everything going on all over the place, UW tries to push up, takes some extra space. The Valor comes around in the back to try try to get some presence on the point, and everyone's kind of just all over the place. Pretty strange to see on the brawl. UW ends up on top, and there's a lot of ults invented from Walter to try to make that happen, and so UW's gonna have to better ult economy here. High noon and self destruct. That said, they aren't the largest volts, but they're something. But can we see the bomb connoisseur do it again? Valid almost as a dead eye. SME getting uh, put on top of the wall doesn't find anybody. Everybody was able to hide around. But at least it got enough space as the escort is going to be pushing into, forcing them into another team fight right here. Mad Cow Disease has the window. He's going to get ready to push it around. Oh. As long as he survives the bomb, the bomb doesn't get anybody. Bob gets the kill on Mag. So it goes U Dub's main tank. But it's traded with the other Orion. No Orion's in this fight, so everybody's gonna be jumping on and fighting. The Blizzard gonna be freezing. Uh, no, it's gonna be eaten. Weed ate the the Blizzard and gets a kill too on Tone. Weed is really being the 
the center of this team fight as it gets rid of Baptiste and SME helping out. Getting rid of Vlad. I was excited Valid. for Valid Diva play, looking for a big self strike there. But I was looking at the wrong Diva player the whole time. Is is we com coming up with the goods there? Getting a oh goodbye. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we just being super aggressive, and it's really paying off. They're getting a bunch of kills and helping the rest of them, rest of the team get some hits too. Yeah, and that uh, and and just knowing how to play against the May to get that eat on the Blizzard. Even though it's a long cast time, it is harder than it looks just to get that eat down if you're playing against a good diva player as well. Trip knows how to play it as well. Gets down his own blizzard. Yeah, and there wasn't enough to scare it off though, because they still haven't captured point. I mean they're about to right here as they're gonna be winning this team fight, but it hasn't they're just gonna be stalling for oh, more time. Massive shatter to just clean up. They are done with this, they don't want to deal with any of this. Recontest re Dawn says, just put down the hammer, just secure second point, and they're gonna move, they're gonna move on four minutes and 12 seconds on the time bank. Trip committed that uh, blizzard pretty early on, and they still have four minutes, so he's got enough time to get it back, but he's not gonna have it early on, at least for this first team fight. We'd keep pe keeping control of the top, and that's gonna be really good because as soon as that Ryan goes down, he's gonna be committing ult. So he's gonna get Ryan down to half health, throws it out down anyway. But it looks like even without the Ryan, the wall was enough to protect everybody. Blob getting, jumping in, getting one kill off Jaleth before getting stunned and pushed back. That's going to be giving a trade, but a trade is in favor of defense here since the spawn point is so close for defense. So Tony is going to be moving in a little bit. He's got a wall, right, a window right here, commits it right there. Nobody else to really shoot behind it except for the Reaper who finally backs up. The rest of the team finally backing up and Trib falls down. There goes their May. Their stall is gone, so UW is going to be backing off. I wasn't gonna say that you don't have to look at the but it's me actually call, gets call. two. He's nuts. What the? What the? Heck? He gets a third one. What is? What's going on? I thought that was go that was gonna be a reset for University of Washington, and now the Ryan's stuck here. He's on the ground. Actually, Valley comes in, makes sure that his Ryan stays up, and now the sound barrier is here. And it oh, Valley he 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 just has a diva bomb. He just knows how to get get them out and. It was some heroics from from SME, but but better re restabilization, restabilization. I think that's how you say it. Uh, from uh, from uh, Waldorf University, and you know sometimes your English just isn't there. <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting that you know was like, okay, we lost the fight. We start to back up, and immediately SME gets two picks. Like that was so crazy. And so they realize, oh wait, no, we're still in the fight, and they jump back in. It looks like Space Ghost is gonna be throwing down a Blizzard. It's been getting a bunch of people, but Space Ghost dies, so it's not really worth it. UW instead getting two kills. They're gonna be having the only kills before this team fight happens, so they're gonna be jumping all the way in. Trip has the Blizzard back. The Escort is so close. If they get a few more kills right here, they're gonna be basically guaranteeing sight. And Trip is still holding on the Blizzard, finally committing it. Now that a bunch of people have already lost, already died. So now it's just stall. UW versus a bunch of stall, and they get it. SME, oh my gosh, look at the kill feed right there. SME has three kills, oh two of them. My. Oh my uh, god. The, the, I mean, Deadeye does work when your opponents are already strained for resources, but it's the Staggers coming in, there's no one that's able to just deal with the Deadeye. It's gonna pick up to great knowledge from you, Dob, knowing how to ration their ultimates in order to win out a, a third point on an escort map on King's Row, where, well, I'm just on most maps with three points, the or two CPI, I guess. The last point can be really difficult to take, but really good just using the, the using two ultimates to get the initial win, and then you have the dead eye of the blizzard to clean up the, all the staggers that comes in efficiently, effectively, and that's going to be a really healthy two minutes four seconds time bank. Yeah, that's pretty good. For... I, I I actually want to see this echo. Not gonna lie, I would love to see. I actually enjoy Echo. Like Echo, like technically the newest uh, character. I mean, I, we say new. Like, <clears throat> come on, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> come on, give us Sojourn, please. Uh, aside from that, um, I I do love to see you know, some good Echo play. I'm worried that this isn't going to actually happen. But we did see the Hanzo legitimately. Uh, so I yeah, we saw the Hanzo at the very end. So there's still hope. Hasn't Let's switched go. off of V yet. Let's go. Echo. Looks like, Let's... Yes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Back to well, me. Okay. Back to me. Sad. Well, at, at least we have a, we have a Hanzo here that's gonna spice things up and just try to deal with this long range poke here. 
But it's an interesting thing, choice for the broth on the that means that you don't gonna be need to be really careful what angles that they need to take here. And we have like, a, ro a rotation actually. Looks like Yudub is sticking to one angle. That's right behind the statue. They're not even. They're waiting for for them to push. You gotta push us. We're we're in charge of sight right here. Oh no! Yudub no. already losing the first one though. Daylith getting taken out <laughs> by Blob. <laughs> You can't red and Lucio against someone as good as Blob. Don't, don't oh, well, okay, he's probably gonna be back fast, but but everyone's gonna start to engage already, and you don't need to get some ground. Yeah, that's four people contesting site. Looks like uh, on defense, Weed is gonna be taking out Rose, but it's gonna be traded with Trebov. So yeah, it looks like Waldorf is gonna be having a bunch of presence on site. So even though they didn't uh, like immediately just wipe the team, they've kind of scared Udub off. So Udub is kind of hovering around the point instead of defending the actual point itself. And SME getting oh taken my. out. Ooh. Ooh, That's going to be pretty flash, deadly. Flash was there. Accuracy, not so much. And Val... Oh. Witch kill. Okay. You can do self-destruct. You can also just do cold mech kills. I, 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 I find that change really interesting that they decided to give uh, the remake 250 damage. I, I guess the, like... I, the, the Overwatch philosophy most recently has been going towards making the game... Uh, more lethal, I guess, and that's that pretty funky uh, self destruct kills. That's one of them there. All right, looks now we're gonna, have gonna a look bit. at we're gonna look at it. Uh, when Ant Matrix that's probably come out for an office as soon as his next engage comes out. You have the Dead Eye, and it's pretty soon a Blizzard here. As okay, Blob just gonna finish up building the Dragon Strike. And Dragon Strike is probably going to just make sure that you can't get the engage that you want. Yeah, good speed though. Make sure that speed doesn't fall. It can get the full channel off. But the dragon goes through and doesn't really hit anybody, so we're going straight into the team fight. Looks like a blizzard's going down for attackers and a bunch of kills. I mean, all the kills. <laughs> okay, there's a complete team wipe. Um, uh, I wouldn't call that a team fight. I would call that just a team wipe. Yeah. Like everyone at UW just basically toppled over there. The power of the Ant Matrix, and then you have the May Blizzard on top of that. That's a lot of pressure. And yeah, this is going to be Waldorf. Just going to take up all of the space on the map. That being said, oh no, Roses didn't really get the message that everyone was falling back. And is UW going to be able to get on? Uh... Oh, they're, they're just barely contesting just for a little bit of a second. If they're able to win this team fight, uh, but they're not. Blizz Blob putting a ton of damage, getting an early kill on SME. Oh, they're committing Blizzard. Oh, they might turn this around. Daylin throwing down his ultimate. Oh, Val is going to be trading with two kills, though. It's pretty even team fight right right now. Valid falling down. There goes a, uh, what do you call it? A tank for Waldorf. And UW, super late, secures the point right before it touched. Yeah, that was really close, and Roses is really probably kicking himself to get getting picked like that because otherwise, Weed he had to sacrifice his mech just to get the contest on the on the card, and that probably would have been a one fight otherwise because Roses had the sound bear available to keep his team up through the blizzard, it wasn't wasn't there, and now all the long spawns here, and now oh no, ooh, Wall good there. trap! That wall stuck that Reinhardt. He was able to. Get away, but he took a ton of damage and had to really fall back. His shield being super low. Immortality shield coming super clutch from Baptiste. Weed being super low, so he decides to commit ult. Throws it right in front. Oh. Takes out Papa Joe. That's going to be no shield for, for the attackers. Blob is going to be pushed around this corner. And he's going to have to run away before getting taken out. SME getting tone and valid. SME still proving to be one of the, one of the most killers out here. I wanna learn that bomb tech that we saw from Weed. They're just getting it stuck on the on the payload just the right way to make the bomb land in the middle of the road. I I I I, I thought for a moment that he'd screwed up the bomb, but no, yeah, he I saw that too. <laughs> at all. He knew what was going on that whole time. But Space Ghost has the blizzard. The blizzard's been deadly so far. Can can Space Ghost get another massive blizzard? Oh, it looks like he's gonna be throwing on. Attacker's Blizzard for Waldorf, but uh, it's not going to find anybody. Instead, it's just going to kind of scare everybody off. And now Tree Bob's going to be jumping in, throwing down a Blizzard, catches two, gets the kills, so he secures it. And the rest of the team is also going to be going off of that to get the rest of the kills. Yeah, Trip just waited for it. Okay, I'll just wait out your Blizzard and throw my own in. Great. Okay, so that just nullifies the, the Blizzard value. Trip gets a much bigger one. And now we're looking at. Uh, not quite last fight territory if this next fight's pretty quick, but we're looking at 80 seconds left. 
Blob has the Dragon Strike, but everyone else is pretty depleted of ults. And if the longer fight happens, this truly is last fight territory. We're going to have three, four ultimates coming online shortly in just a matter of 10 or so seconds, probably. Waldorf is probably super pressured because they got less than a minute now, but the Escort is so close to the next checkpoint, which could get them a ton more time. But UW is not letting up. They're they're still they're not uh, they're not going to be pushing that. Waldorf trying to get them to move away from it, but they're still holding this uh, yeah, uh, checkpoint. Big boop forced the Ryan onto low ground. And the rest of the team is going to have to follow. They'll all be dropping. They they lost the high ground. SME behind the window doesn't find anybody. Is able to make a little bit of space. Dallas getting the kill on Rose. UW having an early lead in this next team fight. Mad Cow is still keeping everybody alive, even if they're being frozen by the May. Even if there's a big bomb right there, they're still alive and fighting. Healed all the way up. I mean, only a few people are half health. There's the immortality shield. UW is not going anywhere. They're, they've got their feet planted, cemented on this point. I mean, Tony is getting destroyed immediately as soon as he throws this window. Wall comes up. It's going to be defending a bunch of people. Mags being the only UW person to have fallen so far. But still a lot of Waldorf people still mm -hmm. fighting. There goes Weed. There goes both tanks for UW. UW is actually going to be feeling it now. As Val gets a kill off Trib and a kill off Dalith. Waldorf is actually going to be turning on like really close to the bell. Finally getting the checkpoint and getting another minute and 30. The four ultimates that I mentioned that uh, UW had coming up. All of them got used and didn't really get much, and then now it's just left with a Toad who puts down the Ant Matrix right when he falls, but that's enough to force the pressure, everyone to retreat, but Max not able to make the cross. He goes down, and and that allows the second point coming up as we get all of this. Oh my. Oh, SME jumping like immediately, just like right up top, and everybody sees him and kills him. Yeah, it looks like Attacker's going to be getting a bunch of really early kills. They still have a little bit uh, more to push the, the payload, but they have, still have a minute. So even if they lose this next fight, which they don't seem to be losing it. They seem to oh, be winning. Bob. They're going to have enough time to keep pushing all the way. Mad Cow Disease is going to be running around trying to find some friends. Like, come out here, save me, help me. Ryan finally giving out here. So Mags and Mad Cow Disease is going to be trying to inching up to the... Inching up to the payload. They're trying to get on site. A hammer down tries to stun them for a little bit, but the shield protects them. UW is still in the fight, even though they're losing one. They lose two. They lose three people. UW is barely holding on. They lost four people. Only five people. There's only one person left. Trib isn't able to hold it all by himself. No coming back from, from that one. And that wasn't that wasn't really even with any ults invested either, which is surprising because usually you need those ults to just push through that. Also, it's really difficult. Uh, third point. Shatter only got one, but uh, apparently that was enough that Baldur was like, yeah, we can make this work, and they push it through with time remaining. And because they have time remaining, Baldur, they're going to buy themselves a full minute on their offensive round. Yeah, UW was all so grouped up when they were trying to hold that escort that they all just soaked up a bunch of like damage all together. And... and Especially in that last point, you're trying to spread out your your deaths. Because even if you're all like just dying, if you can space it out enough, the respawn is so fast that you could just kind of stall indefinitely. But since UW was all grouped up, they all fell together. Allowed. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, that's what Brawl kind of needs to do in order to get things done. Unfortunately, you're right. That does kind of run counter to how you would like to stall out sometimes. However. You, you, Dub. They, they can't be too disappointed with what happened, given that they have almost this three-minute time bank and probably better chances of winning right now. Looking at another McCree May brawl here for the offensive round for Waldorf. Yeah, Waldorf has one minute to secure the point, which is going to be really tough. They basically have to win the first fight. I mean, we're already down ten seconds right now. Well, they're immediately. They're not going to be stalling at all. They're immediately rushing in. They try to wall. They got. Two people by the wall, but it's kind of canceled out by UW's wall. So nobody's fallen yet. They're starting to approach. Looks like they're all going inside. Yeah, it looks like they're all going to be going inside and they're going to be pushing back site. <laughs> now it's going to be an indoors fight. Everybody's going inside, avoiding the rain, trying to stay dry. Yeah, they're, they're all still alive. They're but now we're down to 30 the seconds. They're going to take the high ground and maybe try to swap places. The UW, they're going to respond with the inside rotation of their own. This is going to be a large wrap around here. Oh, super far. They're going all the way. They're going on the balcony. <laughs> I now, don't know. If, if I were to look at this, I would think that UW was on the offense here. They basically switched sides. I mean, there's no fall damage, so they're all starting to jump onto site. They throw up a little window in the back corner. 
they got all sights. Uh, they can see all of uh, all of the map. But UW getting the first kill, taking out Blob. It's getting traded out. So Mags just dropped. No more shield for UW. The defense is going to be kind of a little tight right here. But SME taking out the heals on Rose. UW looking up right now. They get another kill. They get another kill. Looks like. <laughs> Zone, the dead eye zone is just too powerful. The the amp matrix and dead eye, you literally just can't stand on point. And for a moment, I was like, that's a really smart rotation from Waldorf because while they're rotating, tone like everyone's kind of safe, and tone can just build towards that amp matrix. We got a lot of value at the beginning. Was able to isolate and pick off mags with that, but that that took too long to do. And UW, they're able to respond with their own amp matrix. And then, as we saw before, Dead Eye, everyone's zoned out, and the Tracer can't get on to contest the point quite fast enough. That's not going to be a single tip picked up, and UW has a chance to pick up their first map right here and now. Yeah, I was starting to get sweaty. I was seeing Waldorf like making some crazy moves. They're moving all over the map. <laughs> I'm trying to follow them. I'm like, what is what is their plan? What's their grand plan? Their grand plan was to just drop on point and fight. I mean, well, they could have done that from they could have done that from any angle. Reason. That that's true, and there is a point to that. And uh, you might be able to get one more fight if you take a take a first fight a straight and have a kind of rush second fight. But I think Waldorf thought that may maybe that just having the lo longer engagement would benefit a little if they're able to take the take the initiative as they're going going from the high ground to the low ground. But bygones are bygones. Udup now on the offense, and let's see if something can some match can happen for Waldorf. Immediately pushing pushing past the gate, the classic two walls putting pushed up here, and Udup is gonna be trying to push through it, trying to. Oh, but Mags it's. Oh, it gets it's frozen. frozen off point. And the That's... rest of the team is going to be kind of stuck here. Papa Joe soaking up a bunch of damage. His healer's going to try to keep him up, but he falls. There goes two Waldorf people. Goes another third. UW having the advantage. SME getting taken down, though. So it looks like defense is going to be holding out anyway. And... And Tone is able to build up his amp matrix in that. That's great, great play from Blob to get the get the freeze on Mags, and Mags just gets bursted down. Nothing he can do. But we're probably gonna look for two amp matrices up here shortly. But Blob has so much of an advantage compared to Trape in terms of the Blizzard fight. Early engage. And Max is gonna be alone on on point. They they kind of swap spots right here. They're going for a little defense, <laughs> a little defense conquer. And they, they took out the first DPS. Space Ghost already gone. There goes Papa Joe. Okay. Uh, they're kind of feeling it. And they only have to capture one third before they win. And they just got rid of the entire team. And that's that's good enough. Yeah. that, that Killing the entire team will certainly do wonders in the game of Overwatch. Man, yeah. if five head play, just kill the enemy team and you win game. <laughs> just Gosh, why did I think of this? I wish I did this more in my comp games. Well, I guess now we know. Thank you, UW, for enlightening us on how to win, <laughs> your, win your game while you're on the grind. In all seriousness, though, Aston was a really good kite that we saw from the from University of Washington. They're able to render the Ant Matrix from Toad useless because they're able to just speed all the way through Hotel, drop the ammo field, just make sure no one falls through all the boosted damage. And then once they're able to kite all the way back towards the def defender defender arch, they're able to drop down their own their own amp matrix, and their amp matrix instead of trying to aggress onto the enemy team, the amp matrix says, "Hey, we're we're making sure you can't step on the point, and if you do, well, you're facing 200% damage." And that's a great play from UW, understanding how to make get the most out of their ultimate. And it was a I, I thought it was a, a better rotate. UW's uh, rotate going on kind of the, the left the left back corner instead of the right back corner because Waldorf they went on the the other way they went all the way up and they tried to do the same thing they put up the defense matrix in in that other corner but in that corner you're kind of stuck behind that wall so you have nowhere to kind of run you can kind of yeah. run inside but then you can't you can't get any damage off yeah. but UW putting on the on the left corner instead of the right there they have so much space to kind of keep distance and and still still so to get the value of the defense matrix so i like right. it because it's so much it's so much faster to rotate there as long as you can as long as you're able to uh like get your entire team through that little corridor i, I think it i think it works wonders 
And now it is one and one between UW and Mulder. Remember that this is a best of three series. This means that first to two maps wins. And it, it would be pretty hard pressed to get a draw on Havana unless yeah. like both teams get full health. Which, by the way, that's where we're going to right now. Havana, the the payload map, which actually, to be fair, is somewhat infamous for the possibility of full hold actually on the on the kind of a uh, flat team that i'm on we were really proud of a uh, full hold that we were able to do on the on on havana and actually the commentators for that game were like well that's highly unfortunate for the other team <laughs> and, yeah, and we were like, that's good oh, you, right? no that's so unfortunate and we're like come on where was that that was in a great play and it looks and like we're so, having the team switch sides. So now blue is UW and red is Waldorf. Right. And that's because U UW, UW probably was, UW is going to be on the defense first. And, you know, actually, if you don't know how to set up scrim lobbies, good good thing to know. The, T, the blue team will always be on defense on maps where there is an offense and defense. And so that's why sometimes you get these swap rounds. But it doesn't matter. We're going to have Sme on the Widow here. Yeah, a bunch of new characters. We, we have Widow. We got... Uh, we got Soldier. We saw a little bit of Soldier earlier on, but now we have Echo and uh, Enzignata, one of my favorites. This is actually a great crossfire here with the double shield setup from UW. Just getting receiving poke from all angles. It's going to be really hard for uh, for Waldorf to just pull through, push through this with all the damage from, from every single angle. Yeah, Blob can see him. Got a little recon trying to find him, but now mm -hmm. he just lost sight. And so now SME is going to have good control over this point, even though they're super far away. Blob is throwing arrows, nothing's really landing. So UW is still holding this escort, even though they're off point. And throwing you up a... see, all the shields are breaking so fast on the side of Waldorf, it's almost like they can't do anything. But that being said, no one's died between Toads, built up a really fast ant matrix. Let's see what they can do with it. Yeah, Tony turning turning the corner, trying to see somebody. A little, a little Sigma ult, grabbing three, throwing them down, doesn't get any kills, but puts a ton of damage. So Weed getting a little bit of a cleanup right there. But UW is kind of suffering here. Waldorf got a bunch of kills already. Blob super low and yet manages to secure another kill. Yeah, it looks like Waldorf got cleaned Waldorf's up. able to push through it out, and what Waldorf is able to, to do, they don't actually even use the Amp Matrix. I thought it got used for a moment, but... The core weakness of having that uh, split setup is that if one group of three gets isolated against the six, they're just going to fall. The two sides depend on each other, and uh, Waldorf is able to just collapse on the, the the top room, and they're able to clean up. But, wow, Weed's already down? What? I'm sorry. Yeah, SME turning the corner. Hasn't really gotten any major kills. Okay, <laughs> gets a major kill. Takes out Blop, which was one of the big killers. So now UW is going to be pushing in and having a lot of room. Because this, this area is super open. If they want to push Escart, they're going to have to be in the like a middle of a field and getting fired from basically every side. Oh, oh yeah. All the damn Trevor Deer. This is just... That's a really cheeky set, set up there from Papa Joe. I like it. I'm going to remember that Arissa spot for my for my own comp game. Write it down. Pipo G, Pipo G. Right, 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 write it down. Come on. Come on. We're just going to ha have all the clips and uh, just don't... Hey, 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 chat. Between you and me, you're not going to tell anyone about that response, right? <laughs> you're not going to clip Between that. Between you and me. And it looks like uh, Waldorf is going to be aggressing on to the second point here. I have to duplicate to work with, but right now, uh, not much else. That being said, both sides kind of drive for all this. You're going to have Dallas with the, with the rally coming up really soon, though. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be fighting on high ground. Everybody's trying to secure this because whoever wins this has big advantage for whoever's standing on the cart. Space Ghost going, going to be copying Sigma copy. and going to be using it to kill them too. <laughs> Got rid of the original copy. But that was a really big shutdown. Oh no, we just still alive. Pull. Huge pull from Sergeant Fitch realizing that the backline's vulnerable. Hey, I'm going to pull right now. And then we throws a, a few hyperspheres in there. Follow from Trib is good. And that's going to be the fight going going through. Trib now has a pulse bomb to to work with, and it pro will probably need the immortality, well, at least force the immortality field most likely. Yeah, that echo old didn't really get, get much value. They kind of got pushed back as soon as they switched. 
It but looked Trip... like Weed was going to fall there, but he's able to stay up, actually. Yeah, he stayed alive. That was crazy. Now, Trip throwing in a little bomb before running away. Gets rid of immortality shield, but that's really it. Sigma grabbing a couple people in that room. Throws him oh! down. Gets three kills. Oh, let's go, Weed. Weed's going crazy. Oh, Beautiful my Beautiful setup. The pull into the pulse bomb, actually, to guarantee that Immo has to be forced. Once Immo's out, it's like, well, Weed's like, oh. I just have to free its gl gravitic flux in my life. There's no way momentarily to stop me, and because and because there isn't any like Lucio or Zen or any kind of defense, well, but Rosa swapped off to Zen anyway. Um, there's yeah, nothing to mitigate all that damage. We beat the the Echo duplicate and got three kills off an old. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Welcome to the well, you know, team. Yeah, yeah, I think we showing that he's actually really pulling his weight. Here's the supercharger from Papa Joe. Waldorf going for um, another crazy turnaround. They're trying to wrap all the way around, get high ground. Another high ground fight going on. UW isn't really budging. We getting another early kill off Rose. That gets rid of one of the healers. Bob trades it with Trip. There goes. But we come back and getting another kill. He's getting so many kills this game. Okay, but that's a pretty large gravitic flux. Gets me. Everyone else. Looks like they'll get uh, healed up though, and looks like that was a few too many picks and the uh, gravitic flux just a little bit too late. It's a little ambitious of Trip to go and uh, think that he gets through the team facing the entirety of the team, but you know what? It, it works. Ooh! Oh. Blob? Okay, huh? I guess oh. it, though. That was a really nice shot though. Yeah, it was super clean. But like almost all the kills this, this fight, it's all being traded out. SME's got ultimate, just gonna see, trying to trying to use it. Doesn't really get anybody. This immortality shield's barely, just barely keeping everybody alive. Here that immortality shield, but now they're already healed back up. They're feeling good again. SME getting a kill off Space Ghost. So the rest of UW's gonna be jumping all the way in. They're all going outside, oh getting a my. bunch of damage. SME trying to pop heads, trying to stun the Orisa, but Orisa isn't moving. Oh. Instead, takes out SME, but all of her teammates are kind of dead, so she's the last person standing as UW cleans the yeah. courtyard. Surrounded on all all sides and just p picked off. Unfortunately, can't really stun and enemy enemy Arisa while they're fortified. Uh, oh, Drip oh. feeling 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 himself a little bit. Okay, <laughs> does have the armor there, so I guess that explains why he felt so, so comfortable. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a that's a play, I guess. And they're keeping them far away from from point. I mean, they can finally just Over jump time. on jump on site, but it's only a few people. Blob committing an early dragon, trying to get everybody off high ground. It gets one kill, gets rid of bad cow disease, and that's going to be taking out the the defense uh, in, immortality shield. Both immortality shields going off. Sigma throws an ultimate, gets two kills Whoa. again! We going crazy with the ultimate. He's going to try to get rid of this other Sigma. The Sigma's super low, and right behind him is Trip, throwing a bunch of damage, getting rid of the shield, getting rid of battle, getting rid of... Wow! Of the plant. Udub actually turns that. I, we I, need I, actually I, turning that. Yeah. <laughs> And like the, the, he's just finding these moments where he, where he finds the immortality field was down again and, and again. He's like, oh, that means now I can use my, my gravitic flux. Yeah, waiting Great for super good timing. Great recognition there to pull off. I was going to say, say, I thought that the dragon was going to win it because big kills were completely out for, because the uh, dragon pick, picks up Trib, I believe, on the yeah. on Batiste and... As your big heal is gone and your Arisa drops super low because Arisa has to get out of that, out of that really big high ground deny. That's what the the dragon just forced you. Can't stand it that without like just an immortality field or something like that. And evidently that wasn't available because because the bat just goes down there. Yeah, and even though actually, even yeah. though the high ground was like just denied, Yudab was able to jump on point and, and brawl their way out of that one. Mm, right. And now uh, we're we're going to look on the you know now on the offense there is a clear win condition here because Waldorf was not able to push through uh to all the way to the end but this is not out of the question for uh for Waldorf to win at all as Waldorf they're going to opt for just a pretty classic brawl much like what we saw at King's Row you know going to look for that double shield look going to look to just poke away at this defense and then, yeah got a close hold here not using the main entrance they're going around the sides trying to get a little bit surprised they're all fighting off streets UW uh still gonna be staying live as as the fight starts to open i mean the defense is holding super super high up waldorf is like right end spawn <laughs> this is why you choose to brawl comp in these in these in this situation 
try to get the try try just hold really really close and deny the double shield the space of once but Baba Joe he goes down that's the huge sticking point of the brawl comp this is a this is trouble May trying to keep everybody inside but instead gets taken out Daylift getting another kill on Rose UW feeling feeling pretty good this early fight they're gonna be taking uh, they're gonna be taking this first win yeah they, that... they... oh we getting another two kills well, he's just getting getting the clean clean up there. My throat kind of just decided it didn't want to work for some reason, but uh, no, we're good. We're good here, and really good play from you, Dove is able to just keep goes keep their distance enough, just drain the brawl of resources. We have an ant matrix now ready on both sides. This is going to get explosive real fast. Yeah, we're going to the second team fight. Escort's kind of halfway through this first checkpoint. Blob taking out Trib, taking out. Daylift too. Two you know, people falling. Oh, a bunch getting stunned too. A risk only one saving the rest of the team. You uh you, yeah, you dub's just kinda of falling. <laughs> They're just they gotta they gotta run away. They're trying to get back to spawn, but they can't make it. Yeah, they gotta run yeah. back inside. And and the brawl's kind of redeemed a little here now and now they might opt for another close hold now because of the lack of mobility and yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen here. What ultimates do you up have to bring out as well? The flux could be pretty big. Or the pulse bombs. Making you feel claustrophobic, stuck in spawn. But they see a back cap. <laughs> we got Trib all the way on the escort oh. point. It's gonna force the team to get out of there. That's gonna lose them their edge because that brawl really needs to close quarters. Oh Trib got taken out anyway. And, Not much distance. But since Trip died, the, the, we were able to have to re-aggress back. And now UW is outside, and they're all fighting. They throw down a couple ultimates, getting a full-on attack. Not really getting any kills. Getting Okay, getting one kill, but it's going to be taking out two UW people. Trib trying to make something work. Him on his tracer is getting kind of denied by this brawl comp. Can't get any kills as they're all so tightly packed together. Tony is mm. super low, but he's going to be healed up as he's hiding up top. I'd love to see a, either a fast-paced dive bomb or oh no, it looks like that they're gonna go for the UW gonna go for the second option and just opt to match the brawl here. Ryan and Diva coming out as well as Lucio and May. Basically now they're just gonna be completely matching. Another high noon coming out, trying to trying to keep them pushed back so that they can inch closer. Valid having ultimate and just knows. If they stay outside, they'll use it, and so they kind of force them back in there. I, you know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see UW move 10 feet outside of this building before getting absolutely smacked, and they get hammered down as soon as they leave the door. SME getting taken out, Papa Joe around the corner, getting fire, fire strike damage. Looking at 30 seconds left, this is a do or die moment here, and you don't just need to win, you also need to get to the payload just so you can touch it. I've said it's been moving back and forth. And actually, uh, Baldur's gonna choose to let go of a little space. Sergeant Fish, he's down! Yeah, with 20 seconds left, UW's gonna have to speed run this if, if they want any hope. That Diva Ultimate not getting any kills, but that's not what it was trying to do. It was just trying to stall, because now there's only 12 seconds on the, on the, <laughs> on the clock, and UW is still right outside of the spawn. They haven't gotten out, out of here. They need, to, they need to move out that wall, not allowing SME to get any damage off, and now he's stuck all the way back there in his... As the time goes down, we're going overtime. They got to fight on site. Trib throwing his ultimate before he has to hide in his iceberg. He got a few oh, people, this is but just way not too much. Kills. Waldorf gets it. Well, wasn't a spawn hold, but it's effectively a spawn hold as Waldorf. But wow, what a what a performance to just even though the cart gets pushed out beyond the initial choke point, Waldorf is still able to just hold really close and just. Make sure that, yeah, so while you push the cart forward, we're still going to just hold you right here because you don't have anyone I can go there. And yes, uh, the Tracer from Trib eventually gets around there and uh, tries to get the, get some payload motion, but it wasn't coordinated enough with the rest of the team to be able to push out along with it. And so, yeah, effectively a spawn <laughs> hold in. That's, cause that's a great play from Waldorf. Love to see it. Unfortunately, that means that UW does lose, and I don't know. I'm supposed, I don't know. Am I supposed to be rooting for UW? Am I, am I being <laughs> unfaithful to my university? Well, you know what? I try to be as impartial as I can as a caster. Yeah, how can I not congratulate Waldorf? They just got a, like a spawn hold right there. That was super good. They just, UW could not move. They were just stuck indoors the entire time. Waldorf was c controlling all of that side. And Trib was trying to like run around. You could see him in the back line trying to get like a back cap. 
or trying to get a single pick, but he couldn't because they're all crammed together in this one mass, you know, all of Waldorf in this tiny little area, just throwing a ton of damage to anybody who stepped outside. So yeah, congratulations to Waldorf, a super good victory. And uh, even though UW uh, didn't didn't win, I got to give some credit to Weed. Weed was playing super well all throughout all the matches, but especially on Havana, he was doing super good job using ult his ultimates and getting a bunch of kills. And like, especially since he got help from his teammate, like when he would throw up his ultimate, his teammate would all jump in, get them all below half health. That way, when they all fall, they all die. So right. I got to congratulate Weed and welcome to the team. All right. And that will wrap it up for us. This is uh, this is our la last game here for the, for tonight. So congratulations to Walter for winning against UW. And I want to say thank to, thanks to all of you for joining us on our University of Washington Twitch channel tonight. We have games every, every Sunday at for the foreseeable future anyway. With with Rock, Rock League all always at uh, always at seven. I was about to say six. I'm like, what the heck am I thinking? Uh, and then uh, Overwatch right after right after at eight. Um, so thanks for joining us. Hope to see you next week. Remember to check out our social media handles at University of Washington Esports on Twitter and Instagram, and then on YouTube we are UW esports we upload all of our vods there so if you want to see some more cringe casting from me and eugenio you should go we got to hours <laughs> we got back load you know yeah, yeah <laughs> take it all just, in yeah that's also just source material for production mm -mm -mm, where's that where's that uh cringe video <laughs> that we asked for hint, hint. and and also, also join our discord if you're interested in doing some volunteer work eugenio and i are also volunteered and we're just here vibing and we're just having fun here commenting on the games and watching some really great Overwatch. Uh, but thank you. This has been Anvid and... And then I'm also a Panda Bear 15, also Nelson. And we hope to have a really good rest of the week. If you have school, remember to turn your homework. Don't, don't slack on it. And we'll see you on here next week at 8 o'clock for Overwatch or if you're interested in Rocket League, then an hour earlier at 7. See you then. It began with three pillars, the foundation for UW Esports, pushing ourselves to greater heights. Community. Career. Competition. Oh yeah, oh, okay. reminds me of okay. uh, Toronto Defiant, Toronto Defiant Yakpong, reminiscent of that, of just juggling everyone into the corner there. Maybe that'll be the game changer here for you, Doug. Maybe, oh my goodness, what, what an angle, angle by Wizard. Wow. What a